You look like you're tired, Lindsay, Yuki said. This is different. You look like you've been running laps in hell. Cindy said, Yuki's right. Are you feeling sick? Or are you coming down with something? The waitress brought over another pitcher of tap along with a bottle of Australian root beer and a frosty mug of ice. Both of which she put down in front of me. When her footstep faded, I said to my friends, Joe is having an affair. That was a section from the book Eleventh Hour by David Patterson and Maxine Pedro. I chose this section because it is the epiphany and revelation of the entire story. It was the one person that Lindsay could trust had betrayed her. I chose this section because later on you will see that Joe was very important to Lindsay. Well, this book has two main cases. The first case starts out when the millionaire Chaz Smith gets gunned down mercilessly. Later on, Lindsay finds out that his death is linked to the death of four of San Francisco's, San Francisco's biggest criminals. And the killer is actually a cop in her own division, so she doesn't know who she can trust and who she cannot trust. This leads to a lot of moral uh, devalues and leaves her all by herself once again. So the second part of the book is the Ellsworth Compound. It is a mansion owned by another really, really rich person. One day, a 911 call comes in reporting finding they found two bodiless heads in the garden. Later investigation, Lindsay finds out that the two heads aren't the only ones there. They're, they keep finding another and another and another. Soon, they, Lindsay realizes this could be the crime scene for hundreds of murders. But, but then, just when the whole world was shutting down on her, the one person that she loved, Joe, had an affair with someone else. So she got, felt betrayed and left like, alone once again. I think the theme of this book is how people aren't always as they seem, and this could work both ways. A good way would be to Jacoby, someone who she has suspicions on, and all the evidence led to it, but she trusted her gut and did not arrest him. And that turned out to be a good idea because later on Jacoby would have been actually innocent. But this could also work another way, when the one person she trusted in the world, the one that she could lean to, Joe, had betrayed her and had an affair. And so he wasn't the person that he said he was. Um, I think I would recommend this book to readers who would love a thrilling ride filled with emotional defects from all corners of the book and it will not stop until the end.